let's continue our work on vectors, shall we? So last time I introduced dot product. This time let's do some more work on dot product. So let's say you have been given vector A in the Cartesian format. And that is, it is given as say something like 3 i cap minus 2 j cap plus k cap. Now you may be wondering where did this k cap from from, we never talked about k cap, but k cap is the unit vector in z direction. That means this is a three dimensional vectors. Don't worry, there's no need to be scared, three dimensional vectors are easy to handle. And we'll do that, <clears throat> and we'll just do it. And suppose we have vector b, which is minus i cap plus k cap, yeah that's it, minus i cap plus k cap. And now I ask you, what is a dot b? Hmm, how to calculate this? Well, you may be inclined to say a dot b is magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cos of the angle between them. And then you could say, ooh, yeah, wait, let me use blue for this. And you could say, um, magnitude of a is easy. It's just the extended version of Pythagoras, nine plus four plus one. That is the square root of 13 plus 1, that is the square root of 10, sorry, 14. And the magnitude of B is also the Pythagoras version extension. So it's just 1 plus 1, that is root 2. But then you hit a wall because you don't know what theta is. And so you say, well, you can't solve this. But you can because the information now is given to you not in the polar format, but in the Cartesian form. So there must be some way to calculate this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first find out what happens when you dot unit vectors. Let's see, if you take i cap and you dot it with i cap, what do you think we'll get? Well, it's going to be the magnitude of i cap into the magnitude of i cap into cos of the angle between i cap and i cap. What do you think is the angle between i cap and i cap? Well, i cap is along the x, another i cap is also along the x. Zero. And what is the magnitude of i cap? Well, there's a cap which tells you it's a unit vector. So it's one times one times one, which is just one. Can you see similarly j cap dot j cap is also one and k cap dot k cap is also one. Hmm. What would be happen if you did i cap dot j cap? Well, i cap is along the x, j cap is along the y. Angle is 90 degrees and remember, Dot product is all about parallelism. So when you have perpendicular vectors, dot product is zero. So i cap dot j cap is immediately zero. i cap dot k cap is also zero. j cap dot k cap is also zero. That means we can now solve this vector instead of using this method of polar format, we can just directly dot them using distribution method. So we'll use distributive property. So I'm just going to substitute 3i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap dot minus i cap plus k cap. So I'm going to distribute them. You know, just like when you multiply. Now let's distribute them smartly. 3i cap dot minus i cap. What do you get? Well, 3 times minus 1 gives you a minus 3. And then you have i dot i. Well, we saw that. i dot i is 1, so that's just 1. What happens when you take 3i dot k? Well, that's 0, because we saw i dot k is 0. So in simple terms, whenever you're dotting, you just make sure you dot the respective unit vectors, and you can forget about the other ones. So I'm going to forget about this. Next comes minus 2j and minus i. Well, that's going to dot and give me 0 and minus 2j and k, that's also gonna give me a zero, so nothing. Then I have a k and a minus i, dot will give me a zero, and then I have a k dot k, well there's just one into one, that's just one, plus k dot k is one. So I get minus three plus one, I get the answer as minus two. Ooh, a negative sign, a negative sign. This immediately tells me one thing, the angle between the two vectors is more than 90 degrees. I hope you remember this from the previous from the previous video. Since it's negative, it's more than 90 degrees. But can we now calculate the angle? Think about it. 
We know what magnitude of A and magnitude of B are. We also know what A dot B is. We just calculated. So we just substitute and we can find out angle theta. Therefore, dot product is a great way of calculating what the angle between two vectors are. So we will do cos theta is A dot B divided by magnitude of A times magnitude of B. So cos theta becomes, um, let's see, we have magnitude of A as square root of 14, we have magnitude of B as square root of 2, divided by, oh sorry, on the numerator we have this minus 2, and divided by we have square root of 14 into square root of 2. So if we simplify, you get cos theta equals square root of 2 by 14, which is negative, which is just a negative of 1 by 7. So theta ends up becoming, if you know a little bit of trigonometry, is pi minus cos inverse of square root of 1 by 7. And you'll get some answer over here. So you see, dot products are amazing at doing all this. I'll see you next time.